What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Thomas Gallery and today I want to talk about optics. Now, we want to know what are optics. You probably heard the word like fiber optics. We've probably heard that term before optics, but what is it? Well, simply optics is the study of light. And you ask the question, well, what is light? Light is simply put moving photons. The particles of light called photons that are in motion right photons from the word photos meaning light we also get the term photography two two greek words photos and graphy photos light graphy right r w r i t e so light writing photography light writing okay photos it means light so optics is the study of light and Light is simply put when you have white light or just what they call pure light, white light. It is a combination of what's known as the spectrum, the color spectrum, which is part of visible light, which is also part of the electromagnetic wave wavelength. It's right in the middle. It's a small portion of the larger electromagnetic field. Okay? There's a wavelength of light. And we humans can only see in the very small visible light spectrum known as, and we call it Roy G. Biv. You know, Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, stuff like that. And optics is pretty much the study of that, how it works, how it interacts with things. Okay? Now, I once asked my children this question. I asked them, how do we see? And they said, we see with our eyes. I said, no, we see with our brains. We look with our eyes. We see with our brains. And what I meant by that is, the way the process of seeing something is, light travels from a, a, any kind of light source. It could be the sun. It could be a flashlight. It could be the light on in your room, whatever it is. But that white light, or that invisible light, because light travels at 186,000 miles per second, is too fast for the human eye to see each particle. Okay? It's too fast for us to see. Okay? So, it, it, it's, it looks clear to us, but we call it white light because of it's partially broken by either the atmosphere or by the glass which light is coming through. So, it looks white to us, but it's actually invisible. We can't physically see it. But, anyway... Once that light hits our eyeball, you know the, the little black part in the middle of our eyeball called the pupil? It that opens up and closes. The the when there's less light, it opens up so it can let more light in. And when it's a whole bunch of light, the pupil gets smaller to let you know let a little bit of light in. The reason for that is when that light hits our iris, the color part. And it hits the pupil. It goes through. We have like a little lens in our eye. So it's, it's like a small little tiny little little oblong shaped lens in our eye. And what that lens does. The same thing it does with a magnifying glass. It actually slows the light down. And it makes the light bounce in on itself multiple times. Okay. That gives the light. You no. Know, time to be processed with the brain okay so the light comes from a light source hits the eyes hits, hits the hits the pupil then it hits the lens it is slowed down the same process it does with a rainbow I'll explain that later and that white light is broken up is scattered okay or fractured okay refraction the word fraction means to break. Fraction, fracture, means to break. Refracture, the prefix re means again. So, to break again. Now, what does that mean? The light is broken up constantly. So, it's broken up again and again and again and again. It's slowed down until it's broken up into the color spectrum. Now, when that, that light hits the back of our eyeball. Now, if you notice, when people take pictures and the flash is on, you look at the picture, you see the, the, like, the, little, the small part of the eyeball looks red. Okay, what that actually is, is that light hits 
a reflective membrane in the back of our eye. In the back, and it's, in our, it's inside of our eyeball, but it's in the back. If you look at animals, when you take a picture of animals, or you see, you look at the Nature Channel, you see like a, on the Serengeti or something like that, and at nighttime, and the cameraman have a night vision camera, and they look at the lions, and they flash the light in the lions, and the lion's eyes look like it's glowing, the whole thing's glowing. That's because the light is going in, and it's hitting the back of the, in, the inside eyeball, and that light is reflected. Now, what happens is, when that light hits that reflective surface in the back of our eye, it the signal hits the optic nerve. Okay? Optic, like I said, is light, the state of light. Nerve, nerves are the pathways for electrical signals to go through the brain and throughout the body. Okay? So that light hits the optic nerve, hits the light nerve. Okay? That sends a signal all the way to the back. Oddly enough, it's the back of the brain. Right here. Right there. The back of the brain. That is called the occipital lobe. Okay, the occipital lobe. Right? Occipital optics. That's the correlation there. The occipital lobe now takes that signal and breaks it down to what, to what we can see. It breaks these light signals down and puts it in a comprehensive image that we can now say, okay, well, this is, you know, an image, like, do I play this? Now, everyone sees this pen, right? Okay. But actually, what you are seeing is a bunch of atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons, okay? And you see this light source above me, the light on the room above me? That light is hitting this, and it's reflecting off of this into my eye, okay? And like I just explained, that signal hits the lens, all that stuff, and it hits the back, hits the, the, the reflective surface, and it hits the optic nerve, and it goes to the back of the brain, and then the brain breaks down the light, and then it, it reconfigures the light into an uh, image, that I could say, okay, this is a Sharpie pen. But in actuality, it's just light. And also in actuality, without my brain doing all the processing, the computing processing, the actual image of this pen will be upside down. If you ever look at a magnifying glass and look at an object, the object will appear upside down. But it is your brain that turns it right side up and then makes sense of, of it. Okay? Now, the color, you see black, you see kind of a grayish, okay? Where do we get color from? Color is simply the, in whatever light is reflected off of that object to your eye is the color you see, okay? Now, white light reflects all color. It's not white light. White surfaces reflect all color black surfaces absorb all color so when you see this you see this black right here this is simply telling you that all the light all the white light coming from here from this light source right here all that is being totally absorbed okay there's no red coming back there's no orange no yellow no green no blue no indigo no violet coming back into my eye to let me know this is a red pen or purple pen no however this green book what this green book is saying that the light coming from this room all of it is being absorbed into this with the exception of green green has been reflected it's being pushed out to my eye and also this white right here we see this white this white means that all the light is being reflected so all the light with the exception of green is being absorbed and all the light here is being reflected with the word comp comp um, composition okay now artists are very good at manipulating this light we are very keen on knowing what, technically, what band of light does what, okay? 
And even though we have, as humans, a very, very, very small range of light to work with, visible light, we can do some pretty amazing things with it. We make we clothes and paintings and movies, all these things are using are manipulating light. Okay? And with that, we have been able to produce some masterful works. We have been able to set moods to things, happy, sad, all this stuff. We do this with the manipulation of light. Okay? So, hope you enjoyed my little spiel on optics and how it works for the most part and how we see for the most part. I know there's a lot more in-depth study on it, but I just wanted to give you a basic one-on-one synopsis of it, okay? Hope you enjoyed it, and if you like it, let me know what else you want to talk about. I can talk about hearing, I can talk about smell, I, you know, touch, all that stuff. But, hope you enjoy it. I'll catch you all later. Peace.